it looks rather dry. I guess a twinkle in her eye is just a twinkle in her eye. Although she's straight to step it, I try and stop the stride. What's up, guys, and welcome. Um, today up, we welcome. are going to um, work today on. We are oh, I got going so much audio. Work. Come on. Okay. Okay. So today we are going to be working on my fat PS2. Um, I got an awesome cooling solution. Um, it's going to be a good upgrade for the uh, the stock cooling. And um, if the fan goes out later on, it'll be an easy change. So we're going to uh, be installing this product right here that I got off of eBay. Um, Tim is a really good guy. Uh, ThePeacefulOutcome.com is uh, his branding. And um, he created this uh, using a 3D printer. And then he puts it together, and it looks awesome, and I'm sure it's going to work perfect. So we're going to uh, to get in on this. Um, I told him that I would be doing a how-to um, video and a review on the product. Um, and he didn't really have to sponsor this or anything. I paid for this product out of my own pocket. And um, I just think that if somebody out there is making something really cool and you can help them by putting it in the spotlight then that's something that needs to be done um, you know not everybody has ten thousand dollars to throw out there for advertising and stuff a lot of this stuff that people make um, out of necessity sometimes um, you know, they, they're doing it with one or two people teams. And it's time and money out of their pockets to research and development the best way to make these. So, with that being said, 
Um, I told him that I would, uh, if I really liked this product, that I would work with him in the future um, to maybe develop other types of solutions um, for other consoles or maybe other products, um, different mods and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have any ideas, please um, let me know in the uh, in the chat. Um, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm a cat. Thanks for joining me. Um, I usually don't do these uh, these tech things like this, but I figured this is uh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's it's a how-to, and um, it gets me on the stream. So I do thank you for joining me. Um, but if you want this product, I am going to pop up the uh, the link to it in the chat. I wish that that was a whole lot smaller, but okay. Um, but it is $34.99, so it was a little bit more than $37 US. Um, and it was supposed to arrive within 10 days. He sent it out Friday, and I received it um, pretty much the next day. So um, Fast shipping, nice guy. Um, the product is very nice. Um, it's actually a quality 3D print. And, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle of the camera here. That way we can take a look at what we're, what we're doing. So this is the actual product. Let me blow this up full screen. So this is the full product all assembled by him. Um, not sure how we're going to have to put this wire, but he went ahead and even made an adapter that just is plug and play. So that'll plug right into uh, the motherboard, I'm guessing, or the power supply on here. And once we get this apart, we can take a look at it a little easier. But um, this is the part. It's pretty nice. And like I said, if it works as good as uh, what I think it's going to, then we are never going to have an overheat issue. Um, this is my modified, um, slightly modified, um, PlayStation 2. All it's got is a blue ghost case, and of course it's got the crack right here. That's lovely. Um, I do have a one terabyte hard drive in here, and this is the SATA version. So all we're going to need for this job um, should be a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. So there's two screws on the back here. If you don't have um, the network adapter, with the hard drive installed, um, there's just going to be a uh, just a cover on there. You just pop it out. But this is mine. And all this is is just an adapter. You hook a hard drive into it, and it's good to go. So I'm gonna put this aside. Then there are no additional screws on the back here. On the bottom, you'll have, looks like one, two, six, eight uh, Phillips screws. I'm not sure if we have to take all these out or what's going on here. So we're just gonna take them all out. And on yours, you may have rubber feet. This one, however, does not have rubber feet. So I don't have to worry about put, peeling them off. Um, and they just come out. I actually didn't know that I didn't have rubber feet. So I may actually uh, look into purchase some of those. So if you have one of these clear cases, just be careful taking the screws in and out. 
do not torque them down as hard as you can because you will bust the crap out of this plastic. The uh, frosted systems seem to use um, a softer plastic. But uh, these here are pretty fragile. So we got black screws on the very bottom, silver screws on the upper level. And I actually bought this um, exactly how it is. Minus the uh, network adapter and hard drive. Now if you're interested in using a hard drive, you can um, use a mod chip or um, if you don't want to have to solder in 1800,000 wires um, like these systems are known, you can use an app called Free McBoot. Um, it looks like it's supposed to all be black screws, but he used a silver screw. Going to carefully. Hey, how are we doing this? There's that screw. It lifts off like that because you got the door, and mine, the clips are broke off, of course. Just gonna blow this out. And we're going to be focusing on this right here. So we're going to turn this around. And this panel right here is going to be held down by two screws, it looks like. Oh, looks like one screw. Okay. Fans held in with one screw. This is going to slide out. And then that's going to be what's going to be replaced. wire goes all the way up in there somewhere okay so let's see what we can do about taking this apart the thing about these older systems is they don't use all the crazy screws and stuff like we've got now Yes, I had a bug problem at one point, 
but we got that taken care of. No more bugs. No more shit. No more ruined electronics. Okay, and this connector goes up underneath this power board here. So whenever you're messing with electronics and power, you need to be very careful not to touch any of the capacitors or anything else. Should be okay if it's been unplugged for months or years, but this one was just unplugged. Right, those stupid bots. Do you want to be famous? You can buy followers. Well, it's not really the way it's done, but okay. Of course, that's probably not the way that was supposed to be done. But uh, there's the power supply. I'm going to set that aside. And here is the connector. And you can see the difference in sizes. Um, I think he said this is 15 millimeters and this is 20 millimeters. So that's why he had to 3D print the housing. Um, Noctua is a very good brand, so we don't have to worry about that. And I could probably give that to my buddy because my fan works perfectly fine and his is broke. Okay, so... Going to plug this in. Need to reinstall the power supply which just uses these through pins. Can't blow any dust off that we find. I should probably look into a, uh, a Pico uh, power supply. Get rid of this big old thing here Okay, now that we got that, I think we can reinstall the bottom of the case. Going to give it a quick wipe. No dust, no bugs. Okay, so it goes like this. Oh, almost made a mistake. Plug his power supply back in. There we go. There's always one thing I forget. 
usually has to do with power. Okay, so we are going to slide this in here. Now we are going to have one screw left over because this fan was held in with one screw and now it is not. See if I can route this around. There we go. middle screw here will go right up through this uh, thing here and hold it very nicely. Okay, you're just going to put that screw back in. This is what we're looking at so far. Looks pretty good. Let me see if that lip is supposed to go up in there. I think it is. Yeah, there we go. And is that supposed to be a screw in there? I do believe it is. Now we didn't take one out of there. but it fits and it looks like it works good so that's how we're going to do it so we won't have one left over now Okay, so we should just be able to, got to put these screws back in first for the controller ports. The 
again if you have one of these cases do not tighten it down too tight because it will break those uh, standoffs should be able to just slide it on here Just like that. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put in this one and this one. It's not lining up, I don't think. don't think it likes me okay let's put some more in Just like that, it'll crack just like that. So don't do that. Why is this not going in? It's because the uh, hole on the 3D print is not quite all the way through there. So that's okay. There we go. I just had to push it just a little bit. Went right down. Got them all in. Other than the couple cracks in my uh, 
thing here. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Now let's see how it works with the adapter. So again, if you uh, have a fat PS2 and want to run a hard drive, basically all you need is this adapter. And um, you can get these on Amazon for pretty cheap. Uh, you can get the SATA version, which is what this is. Um, or you can get the IDE version, which is what came with its stock, um, if yours did come with one. And all you do is pop your hard drive in, push it in just like that. Get you a, a coin or a flathead screwdriver. Just going to tighten these down. There is a connector on here, so you have to have this put in enough to where that connector is connecting, or else they wouldn't call it a connector. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, it's pushing out just a tiny little bit, but I don't think that's going to affect anything. Um, this is what it looks like with the adapter and the hard drive in there. Um, I'm sure it's going to work excellent. But that is the install on this product. Again, it's about $37 um, with tax shipped to your door. And um, I would fire this up, but I mean, these things either work or they don't. And I can guarantee this is going to work. Um, all we did was just replace the back. Like I said, it looks great. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, um, talk to Tim over at thepeacefuloutcome.com or catch him on eBay at this uh, address. And um, that's basically all there is to it. Um, he's a super nice guy. And uh, that's basically about it. I'd like to thank you guys for uh, joining me. Um, sorry this stream wasn't very long. Um, obviously, this is just a quick install and thought I'd get on here. Um, I will be doing some more modding um, here soon. Going to also be doing a stream on the Pints and Amiga um, GameCube. So, I have to get some breadboards and stuff like that so I can do some LED mods. Um, should be pretty cool. Hope you guys join me on that. Um, I do have a really awesome jewel coming that's going to go on top. And um, they're going to be really surprised with it. And I hope you guys uh, are staying safe out there. And we'll catch you next time. Again, thank you very much for joining me. I do really appreciate it.